Hello, my name is Maria and this is Mathy, my mascot. And this is Giganta, Mathy's cousin. In this lesson, we have some money problems to solve. We're going to use some mental math and also adding in columns. And Giganta is here for this lesson because he heard that he's going to get to go shopping. So he wanted to ride along on my shoulder, and so I'll try and manage both of them, guys. We'll see. Okay, our first problem. You buy headphones for $12.50 and an MP3 player for $45. What is the total cost? Now, this is not a difficult problem, but I want you to try to use mental math. Using mental math, we notice that there's just a dollar amount here, no cents. This one has dollars and cents. So we add dollars and dollars. We add the 12 and 45, right? And then there's going to be the 50 cents. So 45 and 12 should be 57. And then you have the 50. Did you get the same? How about this one? This is more challenging. Can we use mental math in this one too? Erica buys chicken for $7.60, cheese for $5.50, and bread for $2.14. Find her total bill. Okay, we can look at the numbers and add. Let's add the dollar amounts first. There's 7 and 2 and 5. So that would be 9 and 5 is 14, right? $14. But then when you look at the cents, 50 and 60. It goes over 100 cents. So there's going to be one more dollar coming from all those cent amounts. So we're actually going to get not just $14, but $15, right? So I would get $15. And then the cents. 60 plus 50 is 110. So I will get 10 cents. Because the 100 cents went to make the dollar. 10 cents and 14 cents. So, 24 cents. Did I get it right, Matthew? He thinks so. Good. Another day, Erica went shopping. Again. And Erica bought three cans of beans for $1.07 each. And paid with $10. Find her change. Before we find the change, we of course find the total bill. The total... There's three cans of beans. So we go three times this amount, right? You can multiply three times one. And then you can multiply three times seven. So we should get three dollars, right? And 21 cents. Another change. You remember counting up, adding up? We start with this number and add up till we reach ten dollars. And so for that, you also remember in our last lesson we were talking about Adding up to 100. So 21 and what number you add to get 100 cents. And you think of 1 plus what makes 10, 2 plus what makes 9. Or you could think of subtracting. You know, 9 minus 2 is 7, 10 minus 1 is 9. So there's 79 cents. After 79 cents, we would be at $4. And from $4 to $10 is $6. So that is the change. It's right here. 